Hello, Saturday night, no, Sunday. It's Sunday, <laughs> sorry. Oh, I've got the nights mixed up. Anyway, yes, um, I've just watched the latest No Ordinary Family episode, No Ordinary Future. Wow, I thought Tuesday night's episode was awesome, but this one really upped the ante like you wouldn't believe. So we remember at the end of uh, the last episode, Stephanie now has the ability to travel through time. Okay, she ends up at a point of where she's at the na she's at her neighbourhood, outside her house, and there's police officers and military. Interesting. She goes into the house, sees Jim, JJ, and Daphne all trying to get out the house, or at least Jim's trying to protect the kids by diverting the cops to, to him whilst they escape the house. But one thing that is interesting is that even though Steph is in the future, no one can see her or hear her at all. So she's there, but no one can see her. So she sees what's happening. But here's what is also interesting. It's as if she's there for like a few moments and then is pulled back to the present. It's like she's Think of, well, how should I put it? A catapult, basically. You pull it back, you let go, it springs back and forward, kind of thing. That's kind of how Steph, Steph's power has evolved now, because obviously she, when she had the serum injected on Tuesday uh, in the last episode, she, um, her powers just suddenly grew to the point of where if she wanted to just travel to one part of town she can't because the speed that she's going at is so incredibly high she pretty much goes through the space-time continuum and is in the future so eventually she catches she cottons on about this and tells JJ and everything and um, they're now trying to figure out how to slow down her speed so that it doesn't happen again um, but before all of that um, you will remember uh, George Cadero, um, one of Jim's, like, well, we we'll call him a pal, but he was like his boss, the detective, basically. Well, he gets shot in a, in a drive-by, and then it's up to Jim and George to try and figure out why. Um, eventually, they find out why. Um, a couple of dirty cops wanted to see him um, not go through some sort of trial, apparently, for a... Uh, for someone who committed a really bad crime and they even trashed his house and um not 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 take his wife hostage but you know they pin they tied her up and stuff um poor woman um we do get the return of a of another guest star and i'm very proud to say that rebecca maida is back as victoria oh gosh you've been missed <laughs> thanks for coming back rebecca it was lovely to see you by the way and again she's now working for Lucy Lawless's character and it's all about Katie Andrews and her baby mm. so um, yeah a super powered baby god this throws back to the likes of uh, well yeah I'm not even gonna think about that to be honest but yes it's kind of interesting now that Katie has this super powered baby growing inside of her so it'd be interesting to see where that one goes um, I felt really sorry for Daphne I really felt sorry for Daphne because uh, she had to make a very hard decision when her dad found out how she stopped the a police officer from doing a bad thing. Of course, that leads up to a slight spoiler there. I don't don't want to say what this police officer was doing, but for those of you who have watched it, you'll know what I'm talking about. But um, her dad sees something happen and he's like, well, that's interesting. So she eventually spills the beans and well yeah then she's got to make a difficult decision between her for, 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 for her family's safety because in the future as I say when Steph travels in the future um, it is it is eventually found out that the Powells their secret is out everybody knows who they are what they can do um, and they're trying to find out who exposed said secret um, everybody was straight onto Chris when they found out Daphne told Chris but it wasn't Chris, I'm not going to tell you who it was if you haven't seen it. Um, but it's interesting how the house said secret was exposed. Um, but as I say, I felt sorry for Daphne. 
um, her heart was broken that's all I'm gonna say she she felt she just didn't want to do it but as I say her family basically said look you've got to you know for our safety kind of thing but again um, I don't want this show to end <laughs> Can you not understand what I'm saying? I do not want this show to end at all. I seriously don't want it to end. I love it. I love No Ordinary Family. And as I say, there's new things. They just come up with awesome twists. With new continu continu with new continuation of the story, of the plot, of the of the arc and everything that's being that's going on. It's just Oh god, it's a shame that this this show may not be renewed. I really hope it does. I really hope it does. But I'm going to leave it there. As I say, check it out. No Ordinary Future if you haven't already. Let me know what you thought of it if you have seen it. And um, yeah, hats off to everybody involved as always. And can't wait for the season finale. Eesh, that's going to be epic. <laughs> oh dear. If it is the end of the series itself, if it is just one season, it'll be interesting to see how they end it. But I will look forward to the ending no matter what happens, whether it gets renewed or not, I will look forward to it. And I have to say, it's been one awesome ride, one awesome show. I hope we do get renewal. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you very much for watching. Good night.